Our comprehension of the cosmos relies heavily on our grasp of the space-time continuum as a conceptual framework. It is a mathematical construct that combines the three dimensions of space with the dimension of time to form a single continuum that is referred to as the fourth dimension. In the year 1908, the physicist Hermann Minkowski was the one who initially proposed this idea. And ever since then, it has developed into an essential part of contemporary physics. The realization that space and time cannot be thought of as being in isolation led to the conception of the space-time continuum. To put it another way, the location and motion of an object in space are inextricably linked to the instance in time at which those locations and motions take place. Mathematically, this connection is articulated by the concept of a space-time interval. The distance between two occurrences in space and time is measured using something called the space-time interval. The Pythagorean theorem, which claims that the square of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, is used to compute it. This theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. In the context of space-time, the hypotenuse represents the distance between two events in space and time simultaneously, whilst the other two sides stand for the distances between the events in space and time separately. Our comprehension of the cosmos is significantly impacted by the introduction of a new concept known as space-time. For instance, it serves as the foundation for Einstein's theory of general relativity, which explains how the presence of massive objects such as stars and planets causes space-time to curve as a consequence of their gravitational pull. Because of this curvature, the motion of other items in the immediate area is altered, leading those objects to move in curved pathways rather than in straight lines. The phenomena of time slowing down is yet another effect that may be traced back to the space-time idea. When this occurs, it gives the impression that time is passing more slowly for an item that is moving in comparison to an observer who is standing still. This phenomenon is caused by the fact that the space-time gap between occurrences is different for the moving item than it is for the stationary observer, which results in a discrepancy in the passage of time that is seen by the two parties involved. In addition to being used to explain black holes and the expansion of the universe, the concept of space-time has also been employed to explain other phenomena. Black holes are regions of space-time in which the curvature of space-time is so extreme that anything that enters them is held in place by the extremely strong gravitational field. On the other hand, the expansion of the universe is assumed to be the result of the overall curvature of space-time, which causes galaxies to move away from each other over the course of time. This phenomenon is known as the Hubble constant. In a nutshell, our comprehension of the cosmos is not complete without a firm grasp on the idea that space-time is an indispensable component. This theory, which has been responsible for some of the most significant findings in contemporary physics, describes the interconnectivity of space and time. It is reasonable to anticipate that in the years to come, we will come upon an even greater number of fascinating findings, given the ongoing development of our understanding of space-time.